I've been asked to talk to you about hair restoration, a little bit of the history of hair restoration, and what we've accomplished and where we're going. What we can provide today is natural looking results that are essentially undetectable. And the reason why we can do that is because the procedure has progressed so much from taking large pieces of tissue with hair in them to taking now pieces of tissue that mimic exactly what Mother Nature does. We can provide to you what are called follicular unit grafts. These are the naturally occurring clusters of hair that exist in your scalp. And by doing so, we replicate what a normal hair uh, pattern is. And because we have, over time, learned so much more about the aesthetics, the art side of hair restoration, we can take advantage of that information and provide wonderful results today. In fact, hair restoration is growing throughout the world. At last count, there's almost 300,000 procedures that were done last year, worldwide. And it is expanding. While most of the work has been done in the United States, it's actually expanding in places like Asia, expanding in Europe particularly, and in other parts of the world. Having hair is an important thing. It conveys so much to the opposite sex. It conveys so much to potential people that we have interaction with. Uh, in these days when people are seeking uh, jobs who have been perhaps out of work, it provides a more youthful appearance. There's little doubt that having hair gives you a more youthful appearance and makes one think that you can accomplish more. Mm -hmm.